Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. So today I am making uh, my version of stuffed bell peppers. So I am going to take you guys along for this journey, <laughs> this ride. Get ready and uh, let's do this. All right, so the first thing I do is get me some garlic. Get that uh, broken up and ready. Get the garlic down going. I usually just mince it up and put it in there. So first thing first, peel my garlic. And then I have my handy dandy mincer. I will mince it up and put it in there with. I'll probably get my beef in there first. I have some... Um, grass-fed beef from a cow that we had raised for us so that's what I'll be using today and I'll show you that here in just a sec I wanted to get this garlic out the way okay so that's ready so here's my grass grass beef let me get it opened up and I always when I do mine I put it in a uh, a Ziploc bag first and then put it in there so it's all ready to rock and roll. So first things first is to get the meat ready. Let me grab my handy dandy mincer. Where art thou mincer? When your drawers are so full that you can't really see where all your stuff is. Maybe it's a in a while. Oh, there it is. Ah. Old style. So, first things first. I got four garlics eyes that I'm mincing into it. I'm going to make sure that I get that all nice and minced. Mix it up and let it kind of get marinating in there. While I cut up my onion, I have to put it in. All right, here we go. I'll just use my knife to get that off of there. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So I got that in there. Get my gloves on before I go get messy. Um, let me peel this real quick. Peel this onion. Get it ready. I think I'm going to put the onion in before I <coughs> marinate or mix it up for, for it to sit while I'm getting everything else ready. Put the onion in. I'm using a red onion. I'm get it peeled. So hard to do with gloves on, but hey, safety first. Okay, um, when I do mine, I have my chopper, my chopper machine, because I love to have my stuff cut up small. So this is my little chopper machine that I use, <clears throat> and all you gotta do, slice and slice. Put it in there, and it chops it good. My bird gets very loud when he hears me doing this. Anything that has to do with chopping, he does not like it, apparently. Okay, so let me get that off of there. I'll show you, see how small it makes them, nice and small. So, we'll get those in there. Get those in there. We'll get our meat. I think I'm going to let my meat marinate for about a half an hour before I put it in the bell peppers. So, um, let me go ahead and get out uh, onion powder and garlic powder. I'm not going to put much of that. But see this. So, we got... I think I'm going to do a teaspoon, 
no, I changed my mind. I'm going to do half a teaspoon of uh, each of these because I already have some in there, but um, we like that. So half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Let's do a half of a teaspoon of onion. My bird is still going cray cray. Cray cray bird. Half of a teaspoon of onion powder. And then I'm going to do, because my husband loves his Johnny salt, so I'm going to be doing a quarter of a teaspoon of Johnny salt. Get that off of there. Make sure I get all the goodies in there. So, a quarter of a teaspoon of Johnny salt. And then, um, for my breadcrumbs, I got the Italian style. Um, it's a Safeway brand, breadcrumbs. And I think I'm going to put about a half of a cup of it in, in this mixture. Um, let me grab a half a cup. Half a cup. And then I will put one egg in here too. And that's how I am doing mine. Let's do about a half of a cup of this Italian breadcrumbs. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to grab an egg. I'm just going to do one. Uh, these are large eggs. So one large eggy. And then we will go ahead and commence to mixing. All right, you guys ready for this? The fun part. And get it all nice and mixed up. Sometimes I will put rice in this, but um, being that I kind of want to maybe serve it over rice. I'm thinking I will just make rice on the side or let them make rice on the side because I am I'm pre-doing this for my husband. He's probably going to have one for lunch is what he's going to have today. Get all those, uh, get all that nice and mixed in there. Okay, so it's all nice and mixed in. Get my gloves off. I'm good to go now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover it with some clean wrap. And I'm going to put it in the fridge for about a half an hour. And I'll be right back to show you guys how I cut up my bell pepper. So I'll just do it like this. Okay, so that's going in the fridge. That's going to go in the fridge for 30 minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back and I got my bell peppers. I got two reds. Get my gloves on. I don't need them on, but um, I'm going to cut them. This is how I cut mine. I'll break them apart and then I'll get this part popped out just like so. Take that middle piece out. And then this is the part that I fill. So I'm going to try to get some of that out too. Some of this stuff, just want it as clean as possible. I'm going to set it down in my crock pot. Because I want to do them half, laying just like this. So, I'm just trying to get all of this stuff out of here, guys. That's what I'm doing. There we go. Another half. And my next, I usually I'll just... Oh, here we go. About right there. There we go. All right. Looking good. It smells good, too. It smells amazing. These bat peppers smell so good. I wish you guys could smell it. The house is going to smell so yummy today. So just pull that out like so. There we go. So next, I am going to grab the meat been marinating for about 30 minutes. I'm going to grab it out the fridge really quick. I'm going to go ahead and start stuffing. So here we go. Let's stuff our bell peppers. Try to get it down in little crevices as much as you can. 
I try to keep it as level, so about as level as possible. So it's not too overfooled. Um, a lot of the times, we'll see if I do. I, I'll probably have meat left over, and what I do with that is I make meatballs and put them down in there too. So sometimes they just want to have just the meatballs and the juice from this. So. But, yeah. There's the next one. They're looking beautiful. So beautiful. All right. And the third one. Let's get it all tucked down in there. Looking good. And my fourth one. Oh, yeah, we're going to have some meatballs. Get it tucked in nice and good. Nice and tight. Looking good. Okay, so now with the rest of this, I'm going to do some small meatballs and put them down in there too. So, I'll let you guys see in a moment. That one's kind of big. Okay. So, I don't know. About that size in meatballs. And then, just keep doing the meatballs until the meat's all used up. Smells good already, guys. Smells so yummy. And smell that garlic. And smell the peppers. And smell the onion. It all smells amazing. Just stacking them in there, no particular order. Just getting them all in there. Okay. Even if they kind of go on top of the the ones that are in there is fine too. But try to get them to where they're all in the bottom. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see. We got room. And we got a few left. So this was a, was that a quart size bag? I'm going to say, if I have to guess, this is probably about three pounds of meat, I would say, that I used. Um, you can always do another bell pepper if you wanted. That would help uh, use up the meat, too. I like to do mine sideways, so there's not... The pepper's not too overwhelming, you know what I mean? That way, it's like an even ratio. I used to, years ago, do it to where I just cut the top of the bell pepper off and shoved it down in the meat and stuff down in there. But Okay, there's that. Now, so here's what it is. Can you guys see in there? That's my stuffed bell peppers. Now I'm going to put um, just enough on the bottom. I'm going to put some beef stock. Just so that there is some liquid down beneath. And this is fat free um, beef stock. I mean, you can use fat free if you want. If you're not worried about like sodium and whatnot. Then you don't have to worry about it. So, um, just to get enough on the bottom, I say... I'm going to pour it over the meat and stuff, too, just to get a little moisture. So here's what we got. I'll show you how much I got in there. That's about how much I put in there. So now, I'm going to put it in the crock pot. Okay, turn you around. Here's what we got. In the crock pot. Put it on. Um, put it on low and we'll come back on and show you guys what it looks like uh when it's done and you can also once you get all that juice down in the bottom and you take all your meat and stuff out you can uh, make a gravy turn that into a gravy and use that gravy to put over the top of your stuffed bell peppers and rice or you can put it with pasta sky's the limit guys so all right i'll see you guys soon we're all done Okay, guys, so as you're seeing in the picture, it's done. 
So um, what I am going to be serving it on is a bed of jasmine rice. I got that cooking in my Instapot right now. And I'm going to put brown gravy over the top, which I did make some brown gravy. I used the juice from, from the bottom of what was left after I took all the peppers and the everything out. So it didn't actually, it didn't take that long. So we're good to go. All right, guys. So this one is just the bell pepper over jasmine rice. And then this one is the meatballs. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you liked it, do give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button if you want notified anytime I'm uploading videos. Um, hopefully here this next week, um, I'm going to say in the next two weeks, I'm going to try to do more uh, food videos. I will do the best I can, but if you watched any of my other videos, you know that tomorrow I'm having surgery. So I'm just right now uh, prepping for what my husband's going to need as far as while I'm gone. So, all right. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you later.